everyone, it is Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. Today, I'm going to show you how to make water walk. This science experiment was given to us by my son's second grade teacher, who had sent home a science kit for all the kids to do over the summer. So, special thanks to her for doing that. And because of that, my son is going to be joining us for the experiment. So, are you ready to make water walk? Let's get started. So for the walking water science experiment, you're going to start with two glasses that are the same height and you're going to put water into the one of the glasses until it's about halfway full. Then you're going to take your food coloring and you're going to drop a couple drops of food coloring into the glass with the water. That's good. And then you're going to stir the food coloring in until it's um all completely stirred into the water. Okay, good job. Then, then you're going to take a paper towel and you're only going to need about one small strip. So I have a, a bigger paper towel here so I'm going to fold it a couple times until it's about, again, about that size, a one inch strip or so. Okay, and you're going to take one end of the paper towel and put it into the water with the glass with the water and then you're going to take the other end of the paper towel and put it into the empty glass. And now we're going to wait and we will check back on the glasses in about an hour. Hey everyone, we are back to check on our walking water science experiment. And if you remember, about an hour ago we left the experiment and this glass was about half full of the blue water. And you'll see that there has been some water that has walked from this glass to this one. So, can you tell me what caused the water to move from this glass to this one? Leave a comment below to submit your guess and then visit coolscienceexperimentsheadquarters.com to find out the answer. You'll be able to print out detailed instructions on this science experiment and many more that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time. Hey everybody, it is Danielle and I am back because we let our walking water science experiment sit overnight and I wanted to share the results with you. So if you remember, when we set up the experiment, this is the glass that had all the water in it. After we let it sit for an hour, there was a little bit of water that had moved from this glass and walked over to this one. But as you can see, after letting it sit overnight, exactly half of the water that was in this glass moved and walked over to this one. So, if you're doing this as a science experiment at home, make sure that you let it sit overnight too so you can see this happen. As usual, be sure to visit CoolScienceExperimentsHeadquarters.com to find more science experiments that you can do at home. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.